All right, here we are at the keg house, and uh, we are brewing up a uh, specialty beer tonight. This is a beer that I have not brewed before. It's a German Dusseldorf. It's like a German, uh, it's like a brown style ale. Um, I'm going to use lager yeast on it. German lager yeast. Why isn't Stefana? It's like the, it, yeah, um let you scope out the uh, yeast here in a minute, but uh, this looks so good. I got um, saws hops in here right now with um, with a Hirsch, with a little, like a Z of uh, Hirsch Brucker. And uh, I got the recipe right over here. Um, just kind of, just kind of making it up as I go here. I switched this to 90 minute. Instead of um, 120. Uh, so there, that's that for that. This is it. This is a uh, clone recipe out of the Charlie book. Um, Homebrewed. Um, it's microbrewed adventures with Charlie Papazian, and uh, I'm doing the crazy old man alt beer today. Uh, I'm a crazy man. I don't know if I'm that old yet. But this is kind of like how I'm kind of styling the beer. I switched up the hops. And, uh, and all that. So I'm going to check this beer out and see how it, uh, see how this one comes out. But, uh, yeah, I love this book. Um, it's an awesome uh, book. I think the story, I think this comes from, uh, let's see, from 300. Let's see. Where's the story of this one? I think it's right this is the story right here in the book. Uh, he goes to Brown Ale, Alt Beers in Hasseldorf, Germany. And uh, this is part two of the story. This is a Charlie um, book, by the way. I don't um, own this or anything like that. So. <laughs> All props can be due to Charlie Papazian, the man, the myth, the guy who started home brewing, basically. I mean, he made it, he made it like a thing, you know. So, well, without Charlie, who knows, who knows what where home brewing is today. So, uh, that's that for that. Um, so yeah, I love this book. Gonna get back to my page, see that back in it. So yeah, back over to the beer here. We got a hour left on the beer. It smells really good. It's really floral. Uh, it's like Halatau hops, really. Just mm, oh my lordy lords, that's coming out so delicious. Have my little grain sparge going on down here, just kind of dripping into this book, in this bouquet. Yeah. Gonna put some uh, moss in it because I'm gonna clean this this up a little bit. Irish moss at 10 minutes. I'm gonna do uh, some some yeast nutrient here. We got a little backfire going on here. Let me just let me just kind of stir up a little bit. Get get it back under control. There we go. Just kind of turn it back against the grain a little bit. Let it figure itself out. Let that middle part not be a I don't know. <laughs> Fucking brewing. So yeah, this is what's going on today. German beers. And I think I'm going to crack a beer here in a minute. I got a really nice one here. Um, whew. This one is fucking pretty fucking sweet, if you ask me. Um, I went to the contest last year. And, um, y you know, made the top... Uh, like the top, uh, like a five, I think it was, and um, I scored uh, number two in the state, and that was fucking awesome. And I keep talking about that all the time because that was a really special thing for me, because um, I brew a lot, and I've been, I've been, um, you know, it's like I'm gonna win that contest someday. It's my whole. 
my whole fucking plan, you know, and so, um, get my old, man, I need to make sure everything looks good on the old thing. Let me jump into the picture here and say, welcome to a Kegos beer review. Um, the reason I'm going to review this beer right now is because, um, this reminds me of the contest that happened last year, and I got number two in the state, and I, um, it was fucking awesome, but uh, the thing about this was I was um, I had a stout that I put in a um, in the old Baby Magic sweet barrel of mine. I love that barrel, and I put a stout in that. And um, the thing that happened was uh, I was at the uh, the place for the uh, the homebrew contest, and I was strolling around the uh, the place, you know, the huge uh, the sweet fucking brew place. Um, this place right here, Bangle Beer Company, and, and um. You know, it's coming off the uh, the place, and it was like, man, this is a nice brew house. And um, I strolled around this corner, and there was like, there was, there was like a four big, big um, there's four big barrels, like um, aging um, some sort of stout because it looked black, and that was like the same beer that I had in the contest. So my instant thought is that there's no way this place is gonna brew my beer. Because they don't have the space in their, they don't have the space right now to to make a barrel aged beer, you know. If I win this contest, they have to make my beer. So, um, I was like, I instantly got this weird smack in the face. I was like, I was like, motherfucker. I was like, I didn't get it again. I knew it. I was like, but you know what? I was like, I had a really awesome beer, and I was like, you know what? I was like, I might just get second place. I might just get second place, and uh, of course it was like, you know, um, second place goes to me, and I was shocked, jaw on the ground, you know, this is a Maine State homebrew contest, so I was very happy, um, it was like, um, he's like, maybe the greatest, like, like, um, like, um, like, wood aged beer that's ever been in the contest, and I was like, you kidding me? That's fucking awesome, so, that's a huge compliment, so, let's pour this in. Crazy thing is that this kind of tastes like my um, stuff that I made, but uh, this one is is uh, killed by the coconuts because um, it has had. This was also like aged with um, with um, coconuts in it. Um, killed, killed by death in coconuts. This was built on the original <laughs> killed by death stout recipe. We added a small batch of toasted coconut. The end result is a very smooth, velvety, rich, tropical vacation for your taste buds. So, ooh, it smells so bare. It smells so barely, you know. Man, it's so weird because this tastes just like my contest beer, and it's so. I bet at the time this was happening, these guys were like, "Wow, this contest beer tastes a lot like the beer who, um, we have storing it, storing up. That's really cool. Let's give this kid like, you know, a second place, and then like um, because we can't make his beer, you know, <laughs> so." Um, who knows if that, if that was the thought behind it, but uh, who cares really? You know, it's a cool, cool story. I was so happy that night. I um, drove home, smoked a J, coming home. I was so proud of myself. Man, had some beers. I was smoking a J, right home, fucking feeling good. I had to piss so bad. This I stopped on this this back road. I just like put the car in park and just and got out in the middle of the street, just started pissing. I was like, I am the king tonight. So. You know, that's a cool, that's a cool thing to add a uh, um, toasted coconut. I think it helps like enhance the, um, the overall arrow taste. Makes it smoother. That's a cool beer. 
So anyway, um, yeah, that's that for that. You know, I just wanted to just pop in and say, hey, what's up? And this is what I'm what's going on tonight. Expect this review here coming up. I, this beer, I swear, I'm not gonna screw this up. I swear, I swear, the carbonation is gonna be perfect. And there's gonna be no trouble at all. I say this now. But it smells really good. Kind of a bready um, chocolate thing, and then it's got the floral hop thing going on, so. Mmm, smells so good right now. It smells so good. I'm excited. Alright, keg house. I'm out.